Okay, YouTube. Bought this uh, 20 ton shop press from Harbor Freight. They had the uh, coupon for to make this uh, $149. Um, anyways, I'm gonna see what it does. If, if I can, if what it'll do to this lifter. So this was the lifter that was stuck that started me to rebuild that engine. It's the engine out of my kid's truck. So we're going to take 496 aluminum heads and everything. 496. And take it out and put it in a, a different project. And I'm going to put that engine back in after I rebuilt it and everything. It's a 402 board 30 over. So it's basically a 30, 396 uh, board 60 over. So I'm just, let's check out and see what happens, what this thing can do to this lifter. I don't know what it'll do, if it will. Is nothing. Strong lifters. So it's only twenty ton. It's a forty thousand pound capacity. And all I do is hear the thing creaking. <laughs> Alright, tune in next time for something else. Okay, so it's up and... Here's the... The lifter. Smashed it. All right, not too bad. So I'll try to do a slow motion of what happened, but pieces flew all the way. I heard pieces fly all the way over here to the bench. So I think there's a piece, no. Anyways. That's it. 20 ton press versus hydraulic big block Chevy lifter. Hydraulic press one, lifter zero. Okay, here's a follow up video. I did a, one more pass on a lifter. This is another bad lifter. Another reason for the rebuild of that. And all I did was one more pump exploded this lifter. So I'll try it again. And this thing shrapneled everywhere. So let's try it again. gonna try this there's some eye protection matter of fact I'm gonna put a piece of plexiglass in front of it so it doesn't kill me okay so here it goes it's creaking one more Okay, one more. Whew. 
Jeez. There you go. That's what happens. <laughs>